Aloha! So for this next step, I'm going to be mounting uh, two of the bills to the pieces. It's going to be the spear, or ihe, and uh, the sword. The, the trident I'm going to wait till later just because it's a little bit more involved, so it's probably going to be just a part of its own video. Um, the two different mounting styles that I'm going to use, uh, first for the ihe or spear, is going to be similar to a tongue and groove. Um, there's, there's a lot of different ways that I've used to mount in the past, and I actually kind of change depending on the piece uh, which one I use. For this one I decided to go with the tongue and groove just because it's a larger bill. Um, I like the way that the tongue and groove holds uh, or mounts to the wood um, and it also works out really clean when you go to lash it together and, 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 and put the feathers into place. Um, so what I'm doing here is drawing out the, the section of the marlin bill that I'm going to be cutting out in the bandsaw. Once that's cut out uh, I'm going to mark, use that as a template and trace that out onto the Cold, and then I'll in turn cut that out on the ba the bandsaw. Um, it's not going to be a perfect cut when I cut it out. It'll just be close, and it's really not a big deal because what I'm going to do is as soon as I cut it out, I'm going to go back and clean up all the edges, um, either with a file or, or with a chisel. Uh, I, I really want it to be as close as I can. Uh, the less space there is in there, the better. Um, it just has a better hold. Uh, so I do epoxy it, but you know, I don't like it to be drowning in epoxy all the way around. It just doesn't look that's good to me. <laughs> uh, one thing too that I do on these pieces um, that I've done quite a bit and I really like it is I put a center spine. Uh, what I've done in the past is I've actually used you know another piece of wood or sometimes even a piece of metal as my center spine. For this one what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill in about an inch into both sides both the marlin bill and the uh, coal wood and then fill both of those with epoxy and so the epoxy will create as it hardens its own its own center spine that will hold. Um, I'm not going to be throwing this spear, although I have thrown my, my spears in the past. Uh, I'm not going to throw this one because this bill actually came from the client that's requesting this piece. And so if I, if I break the marlin bill, that's a, oh, that'd be horrible. <laughs> you can kind of see the holes there that I've tapped already. I'm just going to mix up that epoxy and set it in. You'll notice the epoxy is a little bit dark. Uh, that's because I mixed in shavings with the epoxy. just helps it match the wood a little bit better. Um, probably helps it set a little bit better as well, just because it, you know, it's almost like an aggregate, like concrete. Um, as it's starting to set before it gets too hard, uh, I like to kind of spot check it just to make sure everything is in line. The bill is, you know, the natural bills aren't perfectly straight. Some are. Those are kind of rare. Most of them have some type of curve to them. And so I try to set the piece in a way that it's going to flow well. Um, the last step here is I'm just putting in these uh, wooden pegs. These are uh, quarter inch dowels. I am using a little bit of epoxy just to set them into place. Um, once I go to start shaping the spear, then I'll clean that up. Uh, the next piece I'm going to be mounting is the, the sword. Um, now you'll notice with the spear there was almost no shaping. I, I mean I cut out the the spear body, but I didn't really shape it at all. The sword is a little bit different. I'm going to have to shape this one a tiny bit just because I want to make sure that I get good proportions. And so I'm not going to shape it past the outline, but I do want to make sure that once I get an outline that the sword is going to really fit well in that, that design. Um, so it looks a little blocky and it's going to be blocky until I take down quite a bit of that, but I don't know how much to take down until I set the marlin mill into place. Uh, how I'm going to fix this one is I'm going to do an inset. So rather than a, a tongue and groove like I did on the last one, I'm going to inset this in. And the reason for that is the koa is going to be showing on all sides. I'm going to be lashing this one as well. Um, but uh, for the swords, I really like the look of an inset. It's almost like you know a hidden tang for a, a full tang blade. Um, and it holds really well. Now the inset's not going to be very uh, deep. It's, it's only about... I don't know, three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch deep, um, but that's plenty. Uh, I'm using the Dremel here just to shape out the initial section and, and chiseling that out. Really what I'm doing is I'm just getting it ready. Um, I want to make sure that I have a good tight fit with the Marlin bill, and so I don't want to go too, take out too much wood before I, I, I verify that. And once I check that out, then I'll take a, another drill and uh, a different bit, drill out as much as I can, and clean up the edges with a, a chisel. And so that's what you can see here. You can't really tell from the video, but I've marked on that bit where uh, how far deep I need it to go, um, just so I don't take out too much wood, otherwise it, it can be a pain. Um, I have clamps on either side just to make sure I don't crack my, 
my koa just because the side edges are a little bit thin, um, a little bit thinner than I would have liked, but that's just a result of the bill. Um, I could have taken off more of the bill, but I didn't really want to. <laughs> uh, the, the last step is similar to the other one. I'm just going to be cleaning it off, um, gluing it in, and then I'll be pegging it. Uh, for the next couple of videos, uh, I've gotten to the point now where I'm going to be spending a lot more time on each piece. I'll probably be finishing each piece one at a time. So each of the next videos will be me taking the individual pieces from what you've seen here, where I've, I've prepped the bills and then set them into place to finishing the entire piece and, and getting it ready and shipping it out. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Aloha. See you next time.